Hi, this is Michelle V. Hill with Michelle's Money Minutes, and today I'm going to talk about summer savings. Kelly Aylmore says some of the best memories are made in flip-flops. When I think of summer, I think of hot, sunny days in Wyoming, spending time in the great outdoors, hiking, biking, enjoying all that our state has to offer. The first tip um, for summer is to look at your budget and to see what you can afford to do. Look at all your calendars and your money situation and then decide as a family which events, uh, projects, and places you plan to, to go during the summer. Um, prioritization is the key uh, to keep you on track with your finances. If you don't have the money, the word no is very helpful. In my opinion, fun's never worth it if it puts you in a scary place financially. That's just my own, my own, my own deal. Um, other warmer weather expenses that may increase include your utilities. Running your air conditioner plus watering your lawn and garden and all your plants can add up. Plants are a wonderful addition to any home and out and outdoor space, and you can transform your outdoor space into a vacation-like feel. Um, but the cost of decorating and outdoor furniture and decor can add up. So you want to find those things on sale or look for Facebook sales or people who are giving stuff away. Um, to save on summer utilities, you're going to want to use the grill outside instead of the oven. Turn on your ceiling fan. Insulate your home um, for summer and winter. Contact your, your, your utility company and they can give you some tips. Um, ideas and programs they may have available. You want to adjust your thermostat so that you're not uh, uh, constantly uh, turning it down or up. You want to make sure your air conditioner is ready to go and is efficient. So you want to get a checkup before summer comes. You want to close the drapes and blinds during the heat of the day to reduce reduce it coming in late at night or early morning, depending on your you don't want to put yourself at risk, but you want to open the uh, windows for a cross breeze to let the cooler air in. So for yard care and plants, some ways to save on your plants could include asking your family and friends for cuttings or extra plants that they may have that they're not going to be using. Because I know sometimes I've overbought in the, in the past and I'm happy to share. Um, your local extension office is, uh, sometimes they have seed libraries available or master gardeners have events. You could look for that. Be willing to dig up your free plants if you're going to be asking for them. So you might want to have, have to do some work to get some free plants, but it's worth it. Um, you want to make sure if you're going to get any yard work done that you get estimates from several people. Um, because I had an estimate for a lawnmower service, which was fine, but it was 140 a month and that was steep. So I bought an electric lawnmower and a weed eater and it was worth it for me to learn how to do it. So sunscreen something else that is a year round necessity, but especially in the summer. So you want to um, look at consumer reports and then look at the uh, what works the best and then purchase it at a discount store. A lot of times places like Walgreens, they have sales on, on current seasonal items. Um, bug spray, you also want to purchase that at the discount store and look at consumer reports for their ratings regarding um, the different types that they have because some target mosquitoes, some target bugs, some target all kinds of different stuff. So you want to make sure that bug spray is truly the bug you're wanting to get rid of. Uh, barbecue supplies, you want to look in your kitchen to see if you have anything that you can use outside instead of buying new supplies. Um, gas, fuel, you want to, um, since you're probably going to be going on some road trips, um, your, prop, your fuel bill will go up. And so there's all kinds of little um, apps out there like Gas Buddy uh, to see where the cheapest places are to fill your tank. Um, if you're going to be stopping during your trips, like at convenience stores, that can add up with all the uh, all the snacks. But who doesn't want to go on a road trip without snacks? So I like to go to the discount store and stock up ahead of time and be able to 
um, save a little bit on that. Sometimes with cold stuff, it's nice to have a super cold drink, and so you can buy one of those, but that's a lot, that's a lot less than more things. Buying it all. Okay, parking, you wanna make sure that when you're gonna be um, taking a trip that the parking, the hotel offers free parking, because sometimes parking can be ex exorbitant, really expensive, and you wanna add that into your, your trip. Car rental insurance, it, uh, your own insurance may cover that, so check into that ahead of time. Activities for the kids, you always wanna bring some things for your kids to do, books, toys, snacks, all kinds of things to keep them busy because they, you know, they need to be entertained as well. And then tipping, you want to make sure that your tipping is included. Some of the things that you that you build in for tipping when you're um, during your summer stay, your summer activities. That's something that may get out of hand. And then finally, what you wear, you want to make sure to have uh, take inventory of your stuff and then uh, make sure you have everything ready to go for the summer. I hope you enjoy these summer saving tips and most of all, I hope you enjoy your summer. Please share and like this. Thank you so much. Yeah.